Welcome back. Today, I got into my possession this fascinating book called Puzzles Old and New. So this book dates back 130 years, just about. It's written by a person called Professor Hoffman. And this is, I always love looking at old books. This one is super interesting. We can have a look at the uh, inside here. And it looks like it was given by a school, the Wellesley House Preparatory School for Boys, back in 1894 to Charles Stewart for English. So it's a pretty cool little school award, I think. And this contains details of loads of puzzles that were compiled and um, obviously these puzzles being in this book all date back over 130 years. I was really interested to see some of the puzzles in here I recognize and they are made today as modern copies. Some of them I've never seen before and it's really interesting to learn about these different puzzles. And this got me to thinking, do we have any puzzles I could have a look at that are maybe 130 years old? And then I thought we could do much better than that. We have the Stomachian puzzle here, which dates back over 2000 years and is accredited to Archimedes. And this one has a super fascinating backstory. So I thought this would be a very interesting puzzle to look at and explain a bit more of how it came about and how it's been recreated today. Introducing the world's oldest puzzle. This is the Stomachian, also known as Ostomachian and Syntomachio. I really want to say Stomachian, but I think the correct pronunciation is Stomachian. So this one is accredited to Archimedes, who lived between 287 and 212 BC. So we're looking at over 2,200 years from the inception of this puzzle. And Archimedes, of course, the ancient Greek inventor, engineer, astronomer, just all round genius. So the aim of this one is to create a square from the 14 pieces. In this case, we've got acrylic pieces, and there are 536 combinations as to how this might happen. Being 536 combinations, you might think that this puzzle is going to be really easy, but finding any one of these is actually really challenging. And if you wanted to find all 536, I think you're looking at a lifetime of puzzling. So the story of how this came about, how the design for this was found is absolutely fascinating. Archimedes was accredited with three codexes named the A, B, and C. Both A and B went missing um, hundreds of years ago, and the C was found from a prayer book that had been made back in the 14th century. And the pages of the original Codex C were turned 90 degrees and written over the top of. So this prayer book was made up of seven manuscripts and they were just shuffled around. The pages were just in random order. They'd all been turned over, written over the top of. There was images over the top of them. Um, it seems crazy now. I'm hoping that it seemed like a sensible thing to do at the time. But the painstaking restoration that was required to recover the images and the text from the original manuscript was amazing. So there was actually Elmer's wood glue on the spine of this thing, which took four years to remove. And after more painstaking restoration and using modern technology to image the pages, they were actually able to read the originals and find original images. And that is where this came from. So the original drawing was recovered after all this painstaking painstaking restoration um, and we are then able to recreate the puzzle and try it out. So let's take a look and find out one of the solutions for this puzzle. Okay, so here we go, we'll tip the pieces out. So we've got acrylic pieces here, and so there's some duplicate colors, but mainly we've got different colors and irregular shaped pieces as well. This might look symmetrical, but it's actually not, which does make this puzzle way more challenging than perhaps if the pieces were all symmetrical. And as I mentioned, 536 ways to do this, but finding Kind of any of them is challenging and I know people that have spent a long time doing this puzzle and they have maybe got three or four something like that not anywhere near the full selection of of possibilities and there is plenty of information out on the internet about this puzzle I'll leave a link in the description to a couple of interesting websites for some further follow-up reading or videos that are about this puzzle because it is absolutely astounding how it came to be discovered and also some of the uh, principles behind Archimedes thinking. So 
so all the pieces have got to go in in a really precise fashion in order to get this to fit. There's a little bit of spacing on the frame, but not much. And you can see here this piece at first glance perhaps looks like it might fit either way around, but it's got to be the right way around. And then the final piece fits in like so. And it is a really interesting looking piece as well once it's finished. There's more mathematics to the size of the pieces and how they correlate to each other, which again is, is really interesting. But there is one solution, only 535 to find. So there we have it, a step back in history today and a fascinating look at the world's oldest puzzle. Um, I really like the contemporary look of the acrylic here, kind of contrasting with that ancient nature of the puzzle. If you do want to check this one out further, I'll leave a link in the description. If you have been enjoying the videos, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel as well. Um, we're slowly growing and it's really cool to see more and more people joining in and watching the videos. That's it for today though. Hopefully see you in the next one.